Hello and welcome to another one of our videos from Senatron. And today we are going to show off how amazing our vacuum chambers are. So first of all, this is one of our custom acrylic vacuum chambers and it has some cool customizations and let's talk about them. So first of all, we have this quartz window and essentially what this quartz window does, it has some um, better optical transmission properties uh, than acrylic. Uh, so it allows you to essentially place a camera, lasers and whatnot, and uh, transmit whatever you guys need to be transmitting into the chamber or out of the chamber. I'm not really sure what you guys do, but we just enable you guys to do it. And the width of this window, uh, this is a five by five uh, footprint so you have plenty of window space to see in there and to to do whatever you need to do so that's one thing the other thing that this chamber has is it has a heating plate so um actually i'm sorry it's not a heating plate this is a heat insulation plate it's actually the exact opposite i totally meant to say that so um that's what we have and essentially what our clients will do is they will place a heating plate in there and um, this, this aluminum plate with some, um, you can see this orange is a heat insulator and it's going to create um, some additional heat insulation for the chamber walls. Not that you need it when you're running full vacuum because you know, the only um, uh, heat transfer that's going to happen is through radiation and, of course, through conduction. But if you have a heat insulation plate, this should do it. And also keep in mind that their heater plate, I know someone is going to ask on YouTube, they're going to say, well, what about, you know, the heat source being connected to the aluminum? Well, their heat source is going to have um, insulators. So no worries on that. Our clients are pretty smart they know what they're doing so no worries on that all right um another thing that this chamber has is a plug electrical plug so what you can do and let me show you i totally just had this plug laying around you know randomly because we just have electric plugs running around here and what you can do is you can take this guy and you can connect it from the outside and it's connected right here and um, I'm not going to show you the rest of our shop. It's not tidied up, so sorry about that. Um, here we go. So you plug it in there. And then what you can do, you can open this door. And you can plug in your toaster. Now, why would you put a toaster inside a vacuum chamber? I have no idea. Uh, but it is something, if you guys have a need for it, um, you can do it with this chamber. And of course, um, another cool thing that this chamber has is, uh, this comes as a standard, is are of course, two valves. One is vacuum valve, the other one is venting valve, and of course, a dial vacuum gauge that's going to show you where you are approximately on your vacuum spectrum. So, there you guys go. And... Um, I'm really sorry, but I left my toaster at home, so I'm not gonna be able to show you how you can plug in a toaster in here. Um, that is going to be a demonstration for another time. Uh, but if you guys have any questions, other than the question about what kind of toaster we have, um, we'll be happy to answer them. All right, well, thank you so much for watching, and uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.